Wendy, it's really fine. It doesn't matter. Start noodling any time you like, because uh, I think you just gave me the signal that you wanted to. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm going to take off my mask. Okay, me too. Shalom to all of you here in front of our faces and those out in the streaming. I hope there's many of you. Um, go ahead. 
Now, normally I play the piano at these services, but if I stand here, I can't reach the keyboard. So we were fortunate enough to, uh, to um, engage the services of Dan Rosengard, a very fine pianist, and we're delighted to have him here. Please give him a good Marchmont Temple welcome. Okay, we're going to start with the singing of Shalom Aleichem. You can find the text on page 142. Shalom Aleichem, Malachim Hashayit, Malachim in this Torah portion, the prophet Balaam doesn't see the angel trying to stop him, who blocks his path. Three times Balaam beats his donkey, and the donkey goes off the path to avoid the angel, and the donkey fetches each time. Then the Eternal One uncovered Balaam's eyes, and he saw the angel. So God, when I look at a glass, let it be a window and not a mirror. For there are times when I need to see others, when I need to look beyond me and my wants to the needs and cares of my family, my friends, my community. And there are times when I need to remember that there are people I pass as if they weren't there, open my eyes to their needs and them. Wendy, will you please come and light the candles? Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, who hallows us with his with his mode, commanding us to kindle the light of Shabbat. Amen. I was just going to ask you for that. Of course. Read my mind. <laughs> uh, please rise if you're able for the uh, Kiddush. On page 123. <laughs> 
Baruch atadonai Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kitshanu b'mitzvotav v'ratzahanu, v'shavat kodsho b'ahava huvratzon hilchivanu, zikaron v'mahasei v'reshit, ki hu yom v'chila v'migrai kodesh, זכר לציאת מצרים, כיוונו ברכת, ויתנו קידשת מכל העמים, ושבת קודשך באהבה וברצון הנחלתנו. ברוך אתה אדוני מקדש השבת, אמן וחיים. We continue on page 130 with Lechun Ranana. I just wanted to mention, this is a uh, participatory, participatory song, not that it's easy for me to sing, and uh, you'll hear me for singing praise, and I'll cue you to sing it after me, maybe. Verses 1, 5, and 9. When we get to verse 9, please rise and turn and face to greet the Shabbat Queen. Thank you. Shalom, 
Say Shabbat Shalom to your neighbors, and if you need your elbows, whatever. We will continue on page 263 for the Chatzik Kaddish. Uh, please remain standing if you're able to. Yitkadal v'yitkadal shemei raba v'yalma divrachin rutei v'yamlich machutei v'chayechon v'mechon v'chadayin kol beit Yisrael Adonai, your majesty is proclaimed by the marvels of earth and sky. Sun, moon, and stars testify to your power and wisdom. Day follows day in endless succession, and the years vanish, but your sovereignty endures. Though all things pass, let not your glory depart from us. Help us to become co-workers with you and endow our fleeting days with abiding worth. Baruch Ata Adonai Ma'ariv Aravim. Amen. In each age, we receive and transmit Torah. At each moment, we are addressed by the world. In each, In each age, age, we, we are, are challenged by, by our, our ancient, ancient teaching. teaching. At each moment, we stand. 266. Yes. In each age, we add our wisdom to that which has gone before. At each moment, the knowing heart is filled with wonder. Baruch Atah Adonai, Ohev Amo Yisrael, Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Baruch Hashem, Kevod Malchuto, Ve'olam Ba'em. Please be seated. And we 
continue on the next page with Via Hafta. Via Hafta, et Adonai, Elohecha, Bechol Lubavacha, Bechol Lubachol, Bechol Vehayu Adivarim Haele, Asher Anochi Pesavsecha, Hayom Alibavecha. Vishinatam Nevanecha, Vidivarta Havam, Vishivtecha, Vimetecha, Uvelechtecha, Vaderech, Uvesharpecha, Uvekumecha, Ushakisham Leod, Ayadecha, Vehayu Atota Fod, Ene Necha, Uchetam, Almizuzol Petecha, Uvisharecha. Leman tizkeru, leasitem et kol mitzvotai, v'yitem kedoshim l'elohechem. Ani Adonai elohechem, asher hotzeiti etchem, me'eretz mitzvayim, v'yot rachem l'elohim. Ani Adonai elohechem. We worship the power that unites the universe, a promise of harmony for all. Before our eyes, there is a vision of perfection, order, and goodness. When will redemption come? Long ago, we escaped the tyranny of Egypt our people saw the power of the Most High. We continue with Micha Mocha on the next page. Let's read together on, on the middle of page 271. Give us a place to rest, O God. Shelter us in the long, soft, evening shadows of your truth. You are true protection and safety. In your presence we find love and sustenance. Watch over us as we go forth. Prepare for us as we return. Spread over us your shelter of peace over all we love, over our Jerusalem and yours. Baruch atah Adonai haporei sukkat shalom aleinu v'akol amo Yisrael ve'al Yerushalayim. We continue with the Shamru on the next page. V'shamru v'nei Yisrael et ha'shamad l'asot et ha'shabad the Dorotam Berit Olam, Beni Uvein Bene Israel, Otile Olam, Oeni Uvein Bene Israel, Otile Olam, Kisheshet Yahabim, Asahano. 
Please rise for the tefillah on 273. Adonai, open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu, 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 Elohei Abraham, Elohei Yitzhak, Elohei Yaakov, Elohei Sarah, Elohei Rivka, Elohei Rachel, Elohei Leah, Ahel HaGadol HaGibor HaNorah, El Elyon, Gomel Chasadim Tovim, Vekondei HaKov, Morid You may be seated. We continue on in the middle of page 278. May these hours of rest and renewal open our hearts to joy and our minds to truth. May all who struggle find rest on this day. May all who suffer find solace. May all who hurt find healing on this day. May all who despair find purpose. May all who hunger find fulfillment on this day. And may we all live in such a way that this day fulfill its promise. Baruch atah Adonai, Mikadesh HaShabbat. We continue on 282 with Shalom Rav. Amavarech et amo Yisrael, 
Continue with Yehi Yu on 285. We continue with Misha Barak on 371. Those on the Misha Barak list this Shabbat, Paul Millman, Jeannie Grumet, Rhea and Marvin Weiss, Fred Green, Nancy Hanley, Mario Wiggins, Dick Stone, Harriet Lipton, Hannah Stapleman, Enid Elton, Lori Weinberg, Stanley Tereski, Bob Glassman, Andy Rosenthal, Sandy Warshaw, Abraham Yochanan, Dove Lesser, Louis Siegel, Nate Moskowitz, Ari Fox, June Foreman, Paul Wiggins, Jody Kahn, Joseph Spinelli, Susie Wolfson, Antonia Nalida Cipolla, Harriet Katz, Pat Ryan, Samuel Phillip, Jerry Goldner, Ian Spear, Norton Bloomberg, Terry Roseman, Julie Ross, Scott Siegel, Megan Kearney Bailey, Tevia Benfrima Hinka, Miriam Siegel, Dan Zimmerman, Aaron Serkman, Tyler Grad, Karen Levine, Joanne Tobin, David Tillman, Evelyn Silberg, Jonathan Glassman, Jean C. Kircher, Shauri Ben Ishai. Are there anyone that you wish to add, please? Whitney Tulin, Gary Gatt. Marcia Edelman, Elliot Levine, Benji Ellen Shim. Okay. Okay. Prayer. Hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. And bless 
bless us as well. Bless us with the power of your healing. Bless us with the power of your hope. May the pain and loneliness we're feeling be diminished by the power of your love. helpful if I could actually see through my glasses. Give me a second. Stephen Cole, a psychologist who heads the program for public consultation at the University of Maryland School of Public Policy, did a study titled, titled The Demand for Public Consultation which found that voters want politicians to hear and listen better. His center calls for lawmakers to take a pledge committing to public communication in which the lawmaker recognizes that this country was founded on the idea that elected officials should listen closely to the people, consult with their constituents, and to take their views into account when deciding how to vote. Active listening and active seeing is an essential part of the work that I do as a rabbi hospice chaplain. Think what this means as you see and listen to the January 6th hearings. In tonight's portion, we meet Balaam the prophet, who is hired to curse the people of Israel by Balak, the king of Moab. Three times, He's called to curse, but his words transform miraculously by God into blessing them each time. The first two times, his view of the people of Israel is obstructed. The third time, as he sees and listens actively to our people below him, he says words that are very familiar to us. Ma tovu oholecha Yaakov, mishkonotecha Yisrael. How goodly are your tents, O Jacob, your dwelling places, O Israel. Balaam bears witness to a community of people relating kindly with one another. And the rabbis of the Talmud imagine this scene, that Balaam was moved to praise the tents of Jacob because the arrangements of the tents made it impossible for one family to see inside the tents of others, showing respect for privacy. Isn't this amazing? We begin our morning prayers each day with words from a bitter enemy of Israel. Balaam models being an independent, critical, active viewer and listener. He refuses to be blinded by stereotypes and false news and false speaking politicians. His relationship with his God deepens by exercising his agency in the world. He refuses to stoke the hot coals of fear and hatred and partisan blindness that demonize the other. This teaches us an important lesson of our healing, repairing, and transformative mission as Jews. We can learn from those we disagree, even from our enemies. In Perkei Avot, the ethics of our fathers, the Talmudic rabbi Ben Zoma puts it more succinctly. Who is wise? He or she who learns from every human being. There is a famous Talmudic story of Rabbi Meir and the well-known Apikoris, Rabbi Elisha ben Abuya, 
as a clear violation of halakha, Elisha rides a horse on the Shabbat, and Rabbi Meyer walks beside him talking. And when they arrive at the Shabbat boundary, Elisha says, Meyer, you better turn back. You can't go any further. And Elisha then keeps riding his horse beyond the boundary. When Rabbi Meyer returns, as is often the case with one rabbi in a group of others, other rabbis challenge him. How can you talk to such a man? And Rabbi Meyer replies gently, it is like eating a pomegranate. I throw out the rind and eat the 613 seeds. Rabbi Meyer teaches us that even an apichorus like Rabbi Elisha ben Abuya has seeds of wisdom worth learning. To cut off oneself from the chance to learn from another, even if that other is an apichorus or an enemy, is to miss an opportunity to gain wisdom. With all the attempts that we have seen this past year to ban books in schools and libraries, this portion reminds me that when I was a small boy, my mother claimed not to know Ben Zoma or Rabbi Meyer. Yes, she knew his wife, Baruria, very well, but that's another story. I wanted to take a book from the adult section of our local public library, but the librarian said, this book is not approved for a boy of your age. And I remember going home and bursting into tears Mommy, they denied me a book. And marching me back to that local public library, my mother checks it out with me. And she had me read and explain the first page to her. And I remember how quietly and sweetly she smiles at the librarian and says, if he is old enough to understand, then he is old enough to read it. My mother knew that you cannot protect and should not protect, keep people from ideas from all sources. And so if the rabbis could learn from Balaam, an enemy of Israel, like Balaam, may each of us turn our faces towards the wilderness, setting our sight and hearing on the expansive horizon of seeing and listening actively the best in each other. And blessed are those who bless others. Amen. We continue with Alenu on page 586. Oh, 
We all had to imagine that there was a Torah in the ark. <laughs> Air Torah. When I die, give what's left of me away to children and old men and women that wait to die. And if you need to cry, cry for your brother or sister walking the street beside you. And when you need me, put your arms around anyone and give them what you need to give me. I want to leave you something, something better than words or sounds. Look for me in the people I've known or loved. And if you cannot give me away, at least let me live in your eyes and not in your mind. You can love me best by letting hands touch hands and by letting go of children that need to be free. Love doesn't die, people do. So when all that's left of me is love, give me away. We continue on 598. We start by remembering those who are in the period of Shaloshim, Janet Goldstein, wife of David, mother of Paul, Jason, Erica, and grandmother of five grandchildren, Miriam F. Cohen, mother of daughter and son-in-law Louise E. Cohen and Donald Kravitz, daughter and son-in-law Deborah F. and Oded Shamuli, grandmother of Amir, Emma, Talia, Annie, Noam, Sophie, and Jesse, and great-grandmother of Daniela Adit, Ariella, Alexandra, Matan, Saul, Faye, Marie, and Owen Saul. Albert Sachs, husband of Irene Sachs, father of son and daughter-in-law Benjamin and Hollis, daughter and son-in-law Anne and Paul, son and daughter-in-law Paul and Carolyn, grandfather of Matthew, Sam, Benjamin, Tim, Joseph, and Mimi, and great-grandfather of Ruby, Solomon, and Amelia. Eleanor Friedman, cousin of Yvette Gurevich, mother of Anne Magalinsky, Stacy LeBlanc, and Jeffrey Friedman. Anne Williams, wife of John Williams for 54 years, mother of Melinda Rice, mother-in-law of Mark Rice, and Grammy of Alexandra and Samantha Rice. And Leonard Gottler, father of son and daughter-in-law Ross and Rachel Gottler, daughter and son-in-law Tara and Richard Rogashevsky, son Stephen Gottler, grandfather of Benjamin and Michael Rogashevsky and Maya and Jacob Gottler. He was predeceased by his wife of 46 years, Elaine. And now our York sites for this week. Arnold Sable, William Colbert, Leo Israel, Jules Mate, Francine Fierstein, Pola Greenzweig, Jerome Kenyon, Norman Bertman, Sanford Bookstein, Ruth Rakusen, Philip Brooks, Melton Rich, Dora Becker, Helen Rosenberg, Jordan Green, Alva Hirschberg, Linda Heinemann, Richard Wolf, Ida Novak, Stephanie Mason, Irving Stone, Jacob Saltzman, Nathan Leitner, Gertrude Slater, Arlene Schechterman, Andy Levine, Mitchell Gasworth, Ann Bauer, Jacob L. Miller, Harry Simons, Melvin Feigen, Melton Ban, William Wagner, Lester Furtman, Mady Ray, Nathan Wanshell, Sarah Silverman, Marcus Raboy, Molly Sussman. Are there anyone else that you wish to remember today? So please rise for the mourners' Kaddish. Yitkadal v'yitkadash shemei rabah, v'yoma divra kiruté v'yamlich malchuté, v'chayachon u'vimechon v'chayed kol beit Yisrael, v'agala u'vizman kari v'yamru amen. Yehe Shemei Rabba Mivrach Leolam Molome Omaya, 
Viet pa rach, viet pa bach, viet pa ar, viet ro mam, viet na se. Viet ha dar, viet ha le, viet ha lao, shamei de kudasha berechu. La e la min ko berchata vishirata, tush berchata vinechemata. Dami ran bioma vimru, amen. Yehe shlama rabba min shlamaya, vichayim alenu vio ko Yisrael, vimru, amen. O se shalom bimro mav, Huya ase shalom, alenu v'yoko Yisrael v'yimru, amen. Zikro nam livracha, may all their memories be for blessing. Amen. And the closing hymn? The closing hymn is Ein Kelohinu. And uh, please join me. Ein, ein, ein kelohinu, ein karoneinu, ein, ein, in Kamokenu, in Kamoshi, in Mikhalo, in Mikhalo, in Mikhalo, in Mikhalo, in no, 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 Eloheinu atahu eloneinu atahu alkeinu atahu moshiyeh. Yevarecha Adonai veYishmerecha. May God bless you and keep you. Yae Adonai panave lecha. May the Lord, may God, let His countenance shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May God lift up His countenance and give you shalom peace. Shabbat shalom. <laughs>